I was excited about the upcoming trip of going to Havana, and John, my older brother, said, um, I'll bet you that uh, $20 that you can't photograph Ernest Hemingway. But my mother chimed in and said, I think I could help. Uh, I know one of Hemingway's uh, but, uh, uh, editor friend, so let me uh, contact him. Havana at that time was the playground of the Western world. Uh, wine, women, song, gambling, and hot stuff. I'm following the houseboy, and we enter into, uh, obviously, Hemingway's workroom, because all these trophies, it was really uh, shocking to see these wild animals from the walls and on the floor, everything, and uh, some cats running around. And uh, the, the uh, houseboy was going out the back, so I had to go after him. And uh, the house was on a hill and uh, uh, was about 300 feet down, many steps down uh, to the swimming pool. And as I got down to the stairs, I could see that he, at the end of the pool, was sort of a raised area. And uh, there was Hemingway. And there is the... Um, my letter on the table on this pitcher of water, it later turned out to be martinis, and uh, he said, uh, I got close and he started talking and he said, why the fuck should I pose for you when Look Magazine paid me $10,000? And I um, uh, sort of went blank, I didn't know what to say. Here is this, this celebrity talking to me and he says, why the fuck? And I was like shocked that this guy would say that. Uh, apparently Hemingway thought that uh, I wanted to go out on the fishing boat with him. And what was happening was they were filming The, uh, the Old Man in the Sea, this wonderful short story that Hemingway uh, had written. And they were making a movie out, out of it, I think Spencer Tracy. And, and he said, the boat is too crowded. I, suddenly I saw my, my breakthrough is that I just wanted a picture of him around the house. Uh, so then he continued and he said, why don't you uh, wait at the, at, at the uh, dock when we come in, in the village of whatever, and at 5.30 tomorrow afternoon we'll take some pictures. And so it got to be about 6.30 and I realized I blew it and I was really discouraged. And I went back, um, no pictures of Hemingway. I thought, oh, my brother's going to get the 20 bucks. And back to the hotel. But during the night, I said, well, I just got to try again. After about uh, 9 o'clock, the gate opened, and a big bronze Rolls Royce purred out. About an hour and a half later, I was still there, perspiring yeah, like crazy. And uh, they, they came back, and they slowed down to open the gate. And uh, the uh, trainer said, follow us. And so by the time I, uh, I got back in the car and got up there, the, the Rolls Royce was parked in the garage, and nobody was there. And I had bought this little Panasonic radio. And uh, I played it very, uh, I turned it full blast to a Cuban station. And I waited and perspired. And then eventually, uh, I don't know how long it was, but a long time, the houseboy came back and he said, follow us. The first thing Hemingway said to me, you sure are a persistent bastard. He said, I like that in a young man. He said, uh, and how did you make that goddamn loud noise? And uh, I, I reached in the camera bag and took out this little radio. And uh, I said to him, I can't pay you $10,000, but I certainly would be glad to give you this radio for a chance to take your portrait. He thought about that, held out his chubby hand, said, deal. Then it turned out that, that he liked gadgets, and he wanted to hold my, my Leica. So um, I gave it to him. And uh, I had another Leica, and I began taking pictures. And within a minute or two, I heard this uh, gong sounding from up, up, uh, up in the house, which is on top of that hill. 
And he said, when Mama rings that bell, he says, I got to go up for lunch. And he started to go up. I said, what about my picture? He said, hey, kid, well, when I get up there, I want to change his shirt. I'll be ready. And when I got up there, uh, he was quite calm, and he was uh, holding his cat, and I got my cameras ready. I mean, in a minute, they were ready. And uh, But I was kind of nervous, and I, I know in, from the contact sheets, uh, sometimes I was out of focus, sometimes I was working too fast that the strobe didn't have a chance to, to light up again. And finally, uh, from the other room, we hear a woman's voice saying, uh, Come in for dinner. What's better? And, and, and I remember what Hemingway said. He said, I'll be right in. The kid shoots fast. And uh, so I took the picture. And there's one photograph, which is my favorite, is him holding this cat. I always had that Hemingway picture on top of my portfolio. And every time, every editor always was, hey, this kid went and got pictures of Hemingway. And it, it was certainly helpful to begin my career.